Hi everyone, I'm Lab Loy Chong from the National Center for Research on Earthquake Engineering and from the Department of Civil Engineering, National Taiwan University and National Chenggong University. This is my name in Chinese, Zhong Li Lai. Welcome to the course Introduction to Seismic Design of Structures, Natural Line, Natural Line Dash 1, Design Basis Response Spectrum 1. Spectrum is something to do with structural period or structural frequency. Response, here we refer to structural absolute acceleration because inertial force is directly proportional to absolute acceleration and seismic design force is directly proportional to inertial force. Therefore, we are interested in structural absolute acceleration. Design response spectrum is a response spectrum for the design of structures. And design basis is an earthquake level for the design of structures. Therefore, in, in this lecture, we are talking about design basis response spectrum. That's the response spectrum for the design of a structure. And the level of this earthquake is called design earthquake or design basis earthquake. Therefore, response spectrum, design response spectrum is the relationship between spectral acceleration and structural vibration period, T. And here are some terminology. Design response spectrum in Chinese, 设计反应谱. Design basis earthquake in Chinese, design, 设计基准地震. Design basis earthquake is an earthquake level for the design of structure with 10% probability of exceedance in 50 years. In Chinese, 五十年内具有十个percent的超越几率. Another, another name for design basis earthquake is, a, is an earthquake with a 475 year return period. Therefore, for design basis earthquake, totally have three names for the design basis earthquake. One is design basis earthquake, another is earthquake with 10% probability of exceedance in 50 years, or earthquake with return period 475 years, and in Chinese, 475年回归期. And the number of earthquakes exceeding the design basis earthquake is a random variable, in Chinese, 随机变数. And the distribution of the random variable is assumed to be Poisson distribution, Poisson Fen Bu. And the design response spectrum is simplified as a two parameter curve. In Chinese, two er chan su se ji fan yin pu. The design re response spectrum is simplified so that it can be described by only two parameters. One of the two parameters is design spectral acceleration for short period structure. Another parameter is called design spectral acceleration for one second period structure. In Chinese, And short period in Chinese is And another name for short period is the period with constant design spectral acceleration. And medium to long period in Chinese, 中长周期. And one second period is the representative for this range, for the range medium to long period. Another name for medium to long period is periods with constant design spectral velocity. And the boundary between short period and medium to long period is called corner period between short and medium to long period. And effective peak ground acceleration, EPA for short, in Chinese, 等效地表加速度. And x from 0 to t is defined as the number of earthquakes exceeding certain level in the time interval between 0 and t. And x is a random variable with Poisson distribution. 
than and the probability of k earthquake exceeding certain level in the time interval from 0 to t is distributed with a Poisson distribution. Therefore, probability of x equal to k equal to lambda t to the power k times exponential minus lambda t divided by k factorial, k equal to 0, 1, 2, and so forth. And here's a Poisson distribution. Probability of x from 0 to t equal to k equal to lambda t to the power k times exponential minus lambda t divided by k factorial and k equal to 0, 1, 2 and up to infinity. First of all, we have to check the sum of probability. Therefore, we summation probability x equal to k from k equal to 0 to infinity. Therefore, we have summation from x equal to 0 to infinity, lambda, k, lambda t to the power k divided by k factorial times exponential lambda minus lambda t. Lambda t to the power k divided by k factorial summation from k equal to 0 to infinity equal to exponential lambda t. And exponential lambda t cancel out with exponential minus lambda t. Therefore, the summation of probability equal to 1. Therefore, the portion distribution satisfies the, the property that the summation of probability equal to 1. Then we have to check the mean of x. Therefore, mean of x equal to expectation of x equal to summation from k to 0 to infinity. k times the probability of k, x equal to k. Therefore, we have summation from k equal to 0 to infinity, k, lambda, two, lambda t to the power k, multiplied by exponential minus lambda t, divided by k factorial. When k equal to 0, the term vanish. k equal to 0, the term vanish. Therefore, we start the summation from k equal to 1. Lambda t divided by k, lambda t to the power k, and k factorial divided by k equal to k minus 1 factorial. And if we take lambda t out of the summation, then we have lambda t to the power k minus 1 divided by k minus 1 factorial, and the summation from k equal to 1 to infinity. And this term equal to exponential lambda t, and it is cancelled out with exponential minus lambda t. And please keep in mind that lambda t, one of the lambda t, is taken out of the summation. Therefore, the mean of x equal to lambda t. And x is defined as the number of earthquakes exceeding certain level in the time interval from 0 to t. Therefore, the mean of x is the average number of earthquakes exceeding certain level in the time interval from 0 to t. If we, if we divide the mean by t so that we have lambda, and lambda is the average number of earthquakes exceeding certain level per unit time. Usually, time here, the unit of time is year, therefore it's per unit year. Therefore, lambda t is the average number of earthquakes exceeding certain level in the time interval from 0 to t, and lambda is the average number of earthquakes exceeding certain level per unit time, that's per unit year. And design basis earthquake is defined as an earthquake level with 10% probability of exceedance in 50 years. Therefore, t equal to 50 years, and x from 0 to 50 is, the, is defined as the number of earthquakes exceeding design basis earthquake in 50 years because the probability of exceedance equal to 10%. Therefore, there should be at least one earthquake exceeding the design basis earthquake in 50 years. Therefore, there may be one earthquake, there may be two earthquakes. Therefore, the summation of probability x equal to 1 plus the, sum, plus the probability of x equal to 2 plus and so forth up to infinity equal to 10%, that's a 0 0.01. And the left-hand side of the equation can be expressed as summation from k equal to 1 to infinity, probability 
of x equal to k equal to 0.1 by the probability of the summation of probability equal to 1 therefore this summation equal to 1 minus probability x equal to 0 equal to 0.1 and then after rearrangement therefore the probability of equal to 0 equal to 0.9 that means that there will be no earthquake exceeding the design basis earthquake in 50 years and the probability equal to 0.9 okay probability x equal to 0 there's, there's no earthquake exceeding the design basis earthquake in 50 years equal to 0.9 and the probability x equal to 0 equal to lambda t to the power 0 lambda t to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial times exponential minus lambda t and lambda t to the power 0 equal to 1 0 factorial, zero factorial equal to 1 therefore the left hand side of the equation equal to exponential minus lambda t equal to 0 0.9 and t equal to 50 years therefore lambda times 50 equal to minus lateral log 0 0.9 and then we can solve for lambda equal to 1 over 475 years. And lambda is the average number of design earthquake. The average number exceeding the design earthquake is 1 over 475 years. Therefore, on average, there will be one earthquake exceeding the design basis earthquake in 475 years. Therefore, the return period of design basis earthquake is 475 years. And that's the definition of the Poisson distribution. And uh, lambda equal to 1 over 475, t equal to 50 years. And x is defined as the number of earthquakes exceeding design basis earthquake in 50 years. Therefore, probability of x equal to 0 equal to lambda t to the power 0. Lambda equal to 1 over 475. And t equal to 50. Therefore, 50 divided by 475 to the power 0. Exponential minus lambda t. Lambda equal to 1 over 475. t equal to 50. And then after the computation, the probability of x equal to 0 equal to 0 0.9 and the probability of x equal to 1 that's lambda t to the power 1 times exponential minus lambda t divided by 1 factorial after the calculation we have probability of, probability of x equal to 1 equal to 0 0.095 and probability x equal to 2 equal to lambda t to the power 2 multiplied by exponential minus lambda t divided by 2 factorial and after the computation we have the probability equal to 0 0.005 and probability x equal to 3 equal to lambda t to the power 3 divided by 3 factorial multiplied by exponential minus lambda t is very small close to zero therefore we have probability of what x equal to 0. There's no earthquake exceeding the design basis earthquake in 50 years. The probability is 0.9. And there's one earthquake exceeding the design basis earthquake. The probability is 0 0.095, very small. And the probability of x equal to 2, there's a two earthquake exceeding the design basis earthquake in 50 years is 0 0.005, very, very small. And the probability of of x equal to 3, therefore, there is a 3 earthquake exceeding the design basis earthquake is very, very small, close to 0. Therefore, we have 3 names for the design basis earthquake. And design basis earthquake is an earthquake level for the design of structures. You can call, the design, call it as a design basis earthquake or earthquake with 10% probability of exceedance in 50 years, or earthquake with return period of 475 years. Therefore, for design basis earthquake, we have three names to call this earthquake level. 
And here is the absolute acceleration response spectra of seismic records. There are totally one, two, three, four, four records here. It seems that they are so irregular. But anyway, you can observe some patterns here. When the period, the structural period is very small and it's linearly increasing. When the period is very, very large, it's decreasing with the structural period. Therefore, the design response spectrum, after averaging the historical seismic records and smoothing the absolute acceleration response spectrum of those seismic records, we can express the design response spectrum by two parameters. One is SDS, the other is SD1. With these two parameters, we can fully describe the design response spectrum. And the dis design response spectrum is divided in four segments. The first, first segment is linearly increasing with the structural period T. And the second segment is constant. And the third segment is inversely proportional to the structural period T. And the fourth segment is a constant again. And T0D is not an independent parameter. It depends on SD1 and SDS. Therefore, with these two parameters, we can fully describe the design response spectrum. The first one of parameters, SDS, is called Design Spectral Acceleration of Site for Short Period Structure. S here, the subscript S here, stands for short period. The subscript D here stands for design. And the S here, the variable S here, stands for spectral acceleration. And SD1 is called Design Spectral Acceleration of the Site for one second period structure. And the subscript here, one, stands for one second period structure. And D stands for design, and S here stands for spectral acceleration. And uh, the damping ratio of the structure is fixed to be 5%, so that the design response spectrum is a function of T. So that we have X axis is the structural vibration period of the structure. And then the Y axis, SAD, is the acceleration, design, spectral acceleration. D here stands for design. S here stands for spectral. A here stands for acceleration. Therefore, the spe design spectral acceleration, SAD, and the unit is G. G stands for gra gravity acceleration. Then uh, there are totally four segments. The first, first segment can be expressed as SDS times 0 0.4 plus 3T divided by T0D. And T0D is defined as SD1 divided by SDS. And for T, less than 0 0.2 T0D. And for the second segment, ranges from 0 0.2 T0D to T0D. And is constant. And SAD equal to SDS is constant. And for the third segment, from a T0D to 2.5 T0D, and is inversely proportional to the structural vibration period T. Therefore, SAD equal to SD1 divided by T. And when T is larger than 2.5 T0D, that's the fourth segment. And then SAD is constant again, equal to 0 0.4 SDS. And this equation can be found from the seismic design codes table 2-5a. And T is the fundamental vibration period, and the unit is S. And the damping ratio of the structure is fixed to be 0 0.05, that's 5%. Therefore, the design response spectrum can be determined by only two parameters. One of them is design spectral acceleration of site for short period structure, SDS. Another parameter is design spectral acceleration of site for one second structure, one second period structure, 
that's SDS. And the boundary between short period and medium to long period is called corner period between short and medium to long period, T0D. T is T0D, if we look at the period to the left of T0D, is a constant equal to SDS. If you look at this period to the right of T0D, is equal to SD1 divided by T0D. Because of the continuity of the design response spectrum, therefore SDS equal to SD1 divided by T0D. And then we move T0D to the left hand side of the equation and SDS to the right hand side of the equation. Then we have T0D equal to SD1 divided by SDS. Therefore, T0D is not, a, is not an independent parameter and it is determined by SD1 and SDS. Therefore, the design spectrum, the design response spectrum can be described by only two parameters. One is SDS, the other is SD1. With these two parameters, we can determine T0D, therefore we can divide the response spectrum into four segments. One segment from 0 to 0 0.2 T0D is increasing linearly with the structural period T. Another segment is from a 0 0.2 T0D to T0D and is a constant. For the third segment, from a T0D to 2.5 T0D is inversely proportional to the structural vibration period T. For the fourth segment, it is constant equal to 0 0.4 SDS. Okay, let's, let us consider the first segment. SAD equal to SDS times 0 0.4 plus 3T divided by T0D. When T equal to 0, T equal to 0, SAD equal to 0.4 SDS. Therefore, when the fundamental vibration period is equal to 0, the structure is so rigid so that the structure moves with the ground. The structural absolute acceleration is the same as the ground acceleration. Therefore, the spectral acceleration, that's the maximum of the spectral of the structural absolute acceleration, is the same as the peak ground acceleration. Therefore, when t equal to zero, SAD equal to 0.4 SDS. This one can be considered as the peak ground acceleration, and we call it effective peak ground acceleration, and in short, EPA, equal to 0.4 SDS, and the unit is G, gravity acceleration. Therefore, EPA is the short form for effective peak ground acceleration. And then we move to the second segment, that's a T is a larger than and equal to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 T0D and less than and equal to T0D in the, the second segment. SAD equal to SDS. When the fundamental vibration period lies between 0 0.2 T0D and T0D, the spectral acceleration SAD is constant. The design spectral acceleration is constant. Therefore, we call this reason, this reason as constant spectral acceleration. This reason is also called as periods with constant spectral acceleration. Sometimes, in short, we call it constant acceleration. And then we move to the third period. SAD is inversely proportional to the structural vibration period T. Therefore, SAD equal to SD1 divided by T. When T is larger than or equal to T0D and less than or equal to 2.5 T0D. And uh, as we learn then, SAD, the spectral acceleration, and SVD, they are related by SAD, the spectral acceleration, equal to omega times the spectral velocity. If we move omega to the left-hand side of the equation, 
Therefore, we have SVD, the special velocity, equal to 1 divided by omega times SAD. And omega equal to 2 pi divided by T. Therefore, this velocity spectral, the spectral velocity equal to T divided by 2 pi SAD. Therefore, from here, we have SAD and FVD equal to T divided by 2 pi SAD. And if we substitute SAD here, SAD equal to SD1 divided by T, and T cancel out each other. Therefore, we have SD1 divided by 2 pi. Because SD, SD1 is one of the two parameters. It's a constant. It does not vary with the structural vibration period. Therefore, SVD is constant in the range from T0D to 2.5 T0D. And the unit for SVD is G times S. G is the gravitational acceleration, and S is the second. Therefore, when the fundamental vibration period lies between T0D and 2.5 T0D, spectral velocity, SVD, is constant. So that we call this reason S periods with constant design spectral velocity. And when the fundamental vibration period T equal to 1, therefore T equal to 1, therefore SAD, the spectral acceleration, equal to SD1. Then we move to the fourth segment. When T is larger than or equal to 2.5 T0D, SAD is a constant, equal to 0 0.4 SDS. Theoretically, when the structural period becomes larger, or the structural period becomes longer, the spectral acceleration becomes less. But if the structural vibration period is very, very long, we may not consider the effect of seismic effect. Therefore, it may be very dangerous to design the structure in this way. Therefore, we assign lower bound when the Structural vibration period is very, very long. Therefore, theoretically, the longer the vibration period, the lower the design spectral acceleration. But if the, if the structural vibration period is so long, then the design response spectrum is so low, therefore the seismic force, design seismic force is so low, probably it seems that we do not consider the effect of an uh, earthquake. Therefore, we assign a lower bound. The lower bound is said to be 0 0.4 SDS. Therefore, when T is larger than or equal to 2.5 T0D, SAD is a constant equal to 0 0.4 SDS. When the fundamental vibration period is longer than 2.5 T0D, design special acceleration SAD is constant, and it is assigned to be 0 0.4 SDS. Okay, we mentioned before we use uh, two parameters to specify design spectrum. One parameter is a design, design spectral acceleration of site for short period structure. And it depends on seismic zone. That's uh, where it is located. Four distance was the dis distance between the site and the force. And the site classification, whether the site is a soft site or a hard site. Therefore, SDS is the product of SSD, NAD, and FAD. And SSD here is the design spectral acceleration of seismic zone for short period structure. And it depends on where the site is located. And NAD is the near fault adjustment factor for periods with constant acceleration. It depends on the distance of the site away from the active fault. And F FAD is the site amplification factor for periods with constant acceleration. And it depends on whether the site is soft or hard. Similarly, there's another for the second parameter of the design response spectrum. It is design spectral acceleration of site for one second period structure. And one second is 
used to represent the medium to long period, and it depends on the seismic zone, fault distance, and site classification. Therefore, SD1 is the product of three parameters. One is S1D, NVD, and FVD. And S1D is the design special acceleration of seismic zone for one second period structure. Therefore, it depends on the location of the site. And NVD is the design, is the near fault adjustment factor for periods with constant velocity. And it depends on how far the site away from the active fault. And FVD is a site amplification factor for periods with constant velocity. It depends on whether the site is soft or hard. Before closing this lecture, I would like to remind you that for the period from 0 0.2 T0D to T0D, that's the period here. Therefore, there are two names for this period, for this range of structural period. One name is a short period. Another name is the period with constant design acceleration because in this period, in this range, the special acceleration is constant. Therefore, we have two names. One name is short period. The other name is the period with constant design special acceleration. Therefore, we use S stand for short period. A stands for period with constant design acceleration. And uh, A, small a, is also stands for the period with a constant design special acceleration. No matter the subscript is S, capital A, or small a, or S, they all represent the same range from 0 0.2 T0D to T0D. And for the range from T0D to 2.5 T0D, there are two names for this range. One is medium to long period, and we use one second period to represent this range, medium to long period. Another name for this period is periods with constant design velocity. Therefore, in this range, from T0D to 2.5 T0D, we have two names for this range. One is medium to long period, and we use one second period to represent this range. Another name for this range is period with constant design special velocity. Therefore, SD1 equal to FVD times NVD times S1D, and the subsequent here stand for one second period, and the subsequent capital V here stand for periods with constant design ve special velocity, and the small v here also represent the period with constant design special period. Therefore, no matter the subscript is one, small v, or capital V, or one, they all represent the same range from T0D to 2.5 COD, from T0D to 2.5 COD. And here are some references for this lecture. One is the Seismic Design Codes of Building, and it's published in uh, 2011 by the Ministry of Interior. You can download the, the Seismic Design Code from this website. And here are the video for lecture one, the lecture two, Lecture 3, Lecture 4, Lecture 5, Lecture 6, Lecture 7, and Lecture 8, and Lecture 9, Lecture 9 is under construction. There are two versions for the videos. One is English version, the other is Chinese version. And in this lecture, we talk about design basis earthquake, and we use our two parameters to represent the design response spectrum. One is the design special acceleration for short period. The other parameter is the design special acceleration for one second period structure. And uh, there are three names for the earthquake level for the design of structure. One is a design basis earthquake. It is also an earthquake 
with 10% probability of exceedance in 50 years. It's also an earthquake with return period of 475 years. The three names here are all referred to the same earthquake level. Therefore, we can call it design basis earthquake or an earthquake with 10% of 10% probability of exceedance in 50 years, or an earthquake with return period of 475 years. That's all for this lecture. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.